This is Will with Cigar Coop, and I'm standing outside the Drew Estate booth at the 2012 IPCPR trade show with the one and only Jose Blanco of Hoya de Nicaragua. Jose, thank you for taking the time. Coop, no time taken. Just to be with you, talk cigars, talk about what's happening in the industry, just following you on Facebook, on your forum, on your blogs, all the things you do. For me, it's a pleasure and an honor always to be with a passionate cigar person like you are. You're doing a great job, buddy. I, I appreciate the kind words. So, Jose, it's almost a year that you've joined uh, Dr. Cuenca at Hoya de Nicaragua. How's it going? It's gone very well because I've had the opportunity to work with the oldest cigar factory in Central America and Latin America. And when I arrived there and I was able to see so many great fillers and binders and wrappers uh, to work uh, on this project, Cuenca and Blanco, I mean, it's been an amazing experience. It's true that people were, were asking us for a long time, when are you coming out, when are you coming out? You know, I tell people, look, I take my time. And uh, we made over 60 blends, and uh, it took us about eight months. But we've came out with a cigar that is very unique. And for Dr. Cuenca and myself to put our names on it, it's just not our names. It's just that we're very proud of what we have achieved but also, we know that we have a winner in our hands. It was it was unique for Hoya um, because this is a true multinational blend that you you put together. I know. I mean, we we were fortunate, or I was fortunate to find a tobacco that Alejandro had. There was a visa from Mr. Lee that he had there for five years, and he had it for a special project. And I, I guess it was God just waiting for me uh, to come and, and do the project. Because when I smelled and I uh, smoked those tobaccos, it was unique. So we were looking at different wrappers, and after going with this wrapper and that wrapper, we decided to take uh, Havano Ecuador. Uh, we got a Dominican binder. We got uh, tobaccos that Alejandro also had uh, from uh, Ometepe. We had a little bit of Peru. So we had, it's really, uh, you know, five different countries uh, into the uh, blend, and it's a very unique blend. It's medium to full. It's very rich and complex, very well balanced, with a long finish and a great aroma. We didn't baptize it, but uh, what people on Twitter, Facebook, and the forums have said, it's a flavor bomb. We always said it was about flavor, 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 and it's all about flavor, complexity, richness, and just an overall very unique smoke. That's excellent. That's excellent. And, uh, yep, yeah, I can concur. Uh, everyone who smoked that thing, is, um, including myself, the feedback's been uh, enormous on that, all positive. So this is going to be a very successful blend for you. Jose, um, in terms of one thing that I've always admired about you is you are one of the most passionate person when it comes to fighting for our rights about cigars right now. What's your uh, state of the land right now in terms of where you think we are in terms of cigar rights? I gotta tell you something. I always uh, post on social media that CRA is the, light, the last line of defense. I believe in what CRA is doing. I believe on what Glenn Loop and uh, Brian Berman are doing. But not only them, all the uh, CRA ambassadors and all the people who are CRA members. What people have to understand is that smoking is not about health. Smoking is about rights. And I've said it for many, many years. If you can die for your country at 18, you should be allowed to drink and to smoke at 18. Absolutely. This is the land of the free and the home of the brave. But you know, there's things that are happening like this thing now with, with FDA, all these smoking bans, all this overtaxation. We're small business. We're not a big industry. This is mostly mom and pop shops, farmers, in Dominican Republic, Honduras, Mexico, Costa Rica, Colombia, uh, Peru, uh, Ecuador, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, growing tobacco. And you know, cigars are for adults. Absolutely, absolutely. How about in general, um, what do you see happening with the industry in terms of, uh, look, going more from a tobacco perspective right now. What are some of the trends you're seeing there? Well, what I'm seeing is, to be honest, a lot of excitement. Like before I would do an event, we would have 60, 70 people there, and the age would be 35 to 65. And I'm very happy now when I go to the events and I start seeing people now from uh, 25 
to 65. So you're getting a crowd in that before, maybe three or four years ago, uh, has started to come up. So what is happening? And these people come up and say, you know, I just started to smoke cigars. I've seen your seminars. Uh, I've been to events. I've been to Cigar Safari. I've been to this country. I've been to that. I've been to a lot of tasting. So what I really see is a lot of excitement. But the problem that we have is uh, with all these anti-tobacco people and people that just dislike us for no reason at all, you know, it, it, we're forced to not be able to really engage and, and, and people have a lot of opportunities. Uh, but I can tell you, if we wouldn't have all these uh, nonsense going on, our industry would probably be up 20 or 25% because people want to really enjoy, people really want to smoke. And you know, in this business, it doesn't matter if you're flipping burgers for 550 an hour, but you sit down with a lawyer, with a doctor, with a celebrity, and you talk cigars. You know, we're a small community, but it's all about camaraderie and having fun and friends and sharing experience. Cigars is about emotions. It's, uh, it's just a very, it's, we're very unique. We're a very unique industry. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's why I love the industry as well. So, Jose, when can we expect to see Quinta y Blanco? Well, Quinta y Blanco arrived Friday to Miami, so I guess by the time customs, I would say in the next uh, 15, 10 to 15 days, the latest will start hitting the stores. Excellent. So the brand is Quinta de Blanco, and we're with the uh, the creator of it, Jose Blanco. Jose, thank you very much for taking some time, as always. Thank you, Coop. And guys, thanks not only for supporting uh, our industry and CRA, but thanks for supporting Coop. Coop goes really out of his way. He travels all over the world where there's ever cigars, where there's, any, where there's tobacco. Coop will be there bringing the news. Keep up the good job, buddy. Thank you, Jose.